Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. According to a post by Brad Garlin House, who has gone through numerous cycles of the cryptocurrency market, the larger crypto industry is following Bitcoin's lead, volumes of Bitcoin ETFs have been surging, and a halving is imminent. It is critical that this optimism be accompanied by practical applications. That is the true and unstoppable advancement. The most amusing part, is that this is basically Brad Garland's residence, someone who has been involved with the space from the beginning. Even better, it comes from someone who was there during the height of the internet explosion. Even he is aware that, in the end, we will follow the same procedure as the dot-com bubble, correct? Where there was a lot of fanfare about incompetent initiatives and businesses and then, as predicted, the regulatory landscape collapsed, or the bubble popped. Microsoft, Amazon, and Apple, the real players in the dot-com bubble, were left behind. Now that we're thinking about it, it's almost like we're following in the footsteps of the dot-com boom. Only this time, the driving force is crypto technology and crypto startups like Ripple. And XRP is useful in that regard as well. When the HBAR is involved, Q and T Casper, etc., come into play. This is, in my opinion, essentially the same conversation that nearly everyone has had about these projects. The practicality is where the true worth is. On the other hand, if it's very useful and optimistic, everyone says, oh, great. Why hasn't the pricing moved? Things are beginning to perk up in terms of utility, but this is still not a utility-driven bull market, is it? The Bitcoin market is continuing in a bullish phase. We are currently following Bitcoin's lead, according to even Brad. However, that will alter in due time. When will that be changed? We have no idea. It will occur, though. Nobody can stop it. Regardless, this post has garnered a lot of attention from Kraken Exchange, who are also replying, and Brad Garlin House who honestly think this post is great. However, when we examine XRP, it goes beyond that. A significant shift on XRP occurred just now, guys. Oh, it's not that big, everyone will eventually say. This isn't a huge deal. This is a significant change, because we have managed to hold on to the 5,865 cent barrier, which I have warned everyone about. If we break below it, the market will turn bearish quickly, and we may see a return to 55 cents, or even 52 cents further down the road. Starting in July of 2023, we maintained control and managed to break above the weekly trend line. We are presently 25% higher than when we received the notification that XRP is not a security. Up about 30% on this candle alone to its peak. We nearly wicked my 75 cent target, though. We need to keep an eye on this area for a major breakout. If we can break out of the 75 cent zone, we can go to 92 cents. We are keeping an eye out for a major break above it, which will also be a large candle, similar to the one we can see above. Accordingly, this change alone would constitute a 20% plus move. Because this is macro barrier, a break above 92 cents would effectively set up a retest of the highs from 2021. Plus, this will set us up for an all-time high. However, I have been discussing this for some time in relation to XRP, in fact. I put out an article about it in which I stated my firm belief that XRP is going to undergo a dramatic transition. What I believe XRP will do to compensate for the chance lost in 2021 is the main point I have been making in my recent videos. Keep in mind, we are still very close to $2 in the midst of a litigation with the worst possible attitude toward cryptocurrency and after being delisted from all major exchanges. Personally, I'm hoping for $5 to $10, but I wouldn't be shocked if we saw greater. Just remember to cash in on your gains and reward yourself. This bull market is your cue to do just that. In my opinion, things are going to get tough from here on out due to the fact that we are dealing with rules. The future of the market is completely unpredictable, you guys. 
It is possible that we may remain in a bear market until 2345. This cryptocurrency market downturn might last the longest. Taking profits doesn't imply you have to sell the entire bag. So make sure you're paying yourself the cycle. Always remember to have a moon bag on hand. Whatever the case may be, when utility becomes an issue with XRP, the real fun will begin. And I really believe that we're getting close. As time goes by, I feel like we're drawing nearer and closer. Why, though, is XRP behaving in this way? Would it be due solely to the fact that we were sandwiched between the bottom trendline and that trendline in this wedge? Sorry, but that's incorrect. Do you recall my comments from that video? I was hoping we would range around this area for a while in terms of XRP dominance, the XRP dominance chart. We began to break out a bit, and we're attempting to peak beyond this initial level that we need to flip. I indicated at any point that we may have a break. Even if we turn the level upside down, this will keep moving. At around 1.72%, the following area is located above this one. Following that, we expect the XRP dominance chart to rise significantly. Additionally, the USD pair will be set on a trajectory towards 92% or 92% plus cents. For XRP, that is when the good times begin. Much obliged for your time. Please subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. See you later, farewell.